Hey everyone, it's Carla here from Sea Law Plans with another plan with me. This is going to be a little bit different this week because I'm going to show you how I plan in my Hobonichi Cousin in addition to my Gold Planner, which is my Moxie Life. So I've done a video in the past and I'll try and link it up here of my intentions for the Hobonichi Cousin. So I will just show you what a blank layout looks like. So this is the layout of the weekly version of the Hobonichi Cousin. The hours are 24 hours, so they go from 5 a.m. all the way down to 4.30 or 5 a.m. as well. So this line would be a 5 a.m. And so my intentions with this planner was to be time blocking and be more intentional with my time and being able to use that in combination with my goal planning system of the moxie life to make sure that i have time within my week or within my day to actually complete those goals well, i have just started out with the hobonichi cousin and i will show you very quickly a quick flip through of the past couple of weeks so the very first week that i had the hobonichi cousin was a week where the kids didn't have any school and my husband was also off of work. So it was kind of our staycation week. And so instead of actually doing time blocking, I did kind of a memory journal type spread and just wanted to kind of try out because this was super new to me. The paper is very different. It's a Tomo River paper, which is very thin. It's very smooth. And to be honest, I've actually kind of fallen in love with it. So your pens are going to be different, stickers are going to be different, washi and highlighter and everything is going to be a little bit different. So this week was just a really fun week for me to try and get used to the paper, the layout and how everything worked out. So the following week, my kids went back to school and I started to do some time blocking. So the times that I knew we were going to be busy during school hours, I do remote learning for both of my kids here at the house. I knew that we were gonna be busy, so I outlined that in a purple highlighter. And then these blocks down here, the gray blocks were all of our dinner times. So those are pretty standard. And then my evening when the kids go to bed time is also pretty standard. And then down here is usually when I wake up. So I usually wake up between four and 4.30. And this is kind of where I wanted my intentions to start. As you can see, I kind of failed a lot this week. <laughs> I woke up sometimes, there was one day where I was really groggy and I just kind of couldn't get started and I watched a TV show before I did my workout. There was one day that I slept in, one day my son snuck in the bed and of course I wasn't going to pass that up so I slept in that day. So the time blocking was a real challenge to kind of get used to and kind of get under control. And so I went into the next week trying to be more intentional with the actual goal setting. And so I will so show you this week in my Moxie life as well. So this is a week that I was doing. So this was a week that I was doing the, I'm still actually doing it, the bowl full of lemons declutter challenge. So this week was going to be the home office. My husband is in charge of his own home office downstairs in the basement, so I decided to use this as my personal desk and planner space in the little kitchen area that we have. And so I basically took all of the items that needed to be done here and I broke them up into each day on what I wanted to do. So I also had a list in my planner of what I was going to do each day during these time blocks. So for example, here where it said I was going to spend time on my desk, these were the items that I was going to do on my desk. The next day, I was going to be doing these items. And then this third day, I would be doing these items. Now, I actually got done with my desk work a little bit early because it is small. I've already decluttered it in the past and I've got pretty minimal stuff in there already. And so I was done a little bit early. So we actually decided to be outside this time instead. And I did all of the last minute desk items here. Again, my dinner is pre-planned. My evening time after the kids go to bed was planned. And I kind of have this weird like space down here where I'm asleep. So I don't really know exactly what to do quite yet with this space, but I do have an idea for it. And I will go ahead and show you what I did this week. So this is the week that we are in right now. This is Friday evening. I'm actually filming on this day here. 
And again, I just kind of had this weird space down here that I didn't really know what to do with. So a nice thing with the Hobonichi Cousin is it also comes with daily pages. So my daily pages started out, and I will not show those because I do my journaling as well. They started out with an hourly time block over here, which personally I felt like was a little redundant because I have my hourly times here. And there is, there is a little space up here with five check marks. I was using those for my daily habits and then I would just journal everywhere here on this side. So I decided that instead of doing my to-do list here, I would save these pages for decorative, creative, and personal journaling. And I would do my to-do list of everything that I needed to do down here. Now, I didn't actually fill out my to-do list because I didn't have that ding-dong realization until tonight. So I, this was the first day that I actually utilized this space down here that I am usually asleep in my to-do list. So I can have everything I need to see in one week right here. So I can have all of the items I am blocked off in needing to do. Again, this week was kind of a wonky week because my kids and my husband had off this day. My kids were in school this day. My husband worked this day. My kids were in school this day, but my husband was off this day. And it was just a really wonky week. So I didn't have a really good idea of how to time block. So this week I decided not to mess with my morning routine. It was kind of just a brain break, take care of myself, do what I wanted to do to make myself happy week. So with that said, we are totally rocking out the goal setting and time blocking in this week here, which is the week I will be planning in. So I have not really shown my goals in the past with my Moxie Life. A lot of them are pretty personal, but I will show you what the weekly actions page looks like. So again, I'm doing the Bowl Full of Lemons Declutter Challenge. It's a free PDF download that you can print off on the website. The website is down here, a bowlfulloflemons.net. And I actually printed all 14 pages at 70%, which is the same size as the 7x9 paper in the Moxie Life. And I am just washi taping them into my weekly action sheet. So I have an entire to-do list here of every single thing that I need to do this week for this particular weekly organization challenge, which is the pantry. Which is actually a little silly because last week was the kitchen. Guess what I did during the kitchen week? I did my pantry. So I am still going to have this taped in and I am actually going to review this particular list and make sure that I did my pantry well enough. And so I will still be doing some of these items and I will add those into my time blocking as well. So another thing that I will be changing this coming week so this is the week that I had in my Moxie Life. Again, this is the week I'm filming. I'm filming on this, excuse me, this day right here. So one thing I will be changing is I will no longer be keeping my schedule in my Moxie Life. So I really want to embrace the intentionality of the reason why I got the Hobonichi Cousin, which is scheduling and time blocking and being more intentional with my time. So I am going to be changing my layout a little bit this coming week with my moxie life where i'm going to be doing what i did in 2020 where i'm just going to be focusing and listing out my goals and then all of my scheduling will be in the hobo nietzsche cousin so with that said i am going to quit talking i have been talking long enough and then i will go ahead and get to planning i'll speed everything up and then i'll explain it again at the end
Okay, so this is the basic skeleton of my average type of week. I, again, do remote learning for the kids at home. So these are all of the Zoom appointments that my kids have for school. I have something for myself for a Zoom, so I wanna make sure not to forget that. Now, my morning routine, my dinners, and my workouts will all be planned out in my Moxie Life. So I'm basically going to be using my Moxie Life as my home base planner. So I will put all of my information in here that I'm going to intend on using for the entire home. So all of my personal stuff, my workouts and everything will be in here. My meal plan will be in here. My goals and everything that I need to do during the week will be in here and my habits as well. So I've said it multiple times, but this planner is propped up on my desk in my kitchen on a bamboo planner stand. Well, it's a cookbook stand that I got off of Amazon so I can easily see it throughout the entire day. And then I can have this one opened on the small desk that I use for schooling for the kids. And so I can easily keep track of everything I'm supposed to be doing on an hourly basis here as well. My Zoom meetings are pretty standard, but occasionally we'll have an extra one added in if my daughter needs a little extra work or anything like that as well. So I like to keep this open on a separate desk where I'm doing all of the schooling. So now I am going to hop over to my Moxie Life and outline all of my information in there. And then I will come back and fill out all of the hourly of where I'm going to be doing all of that information in here.
Okay, so now that I've got all of my goals and everything laid out and finalized here, I will go back and do my habits. And then I'm going to jump over to my Hobonichi and I'm going to lay all of this stuff out in my hourly spread as well. So here is my hourly spread that is coordinating with this week here. So I've got my workouts planned. I think this day might take a little bit longer than 30 minutes, but I can usually pull these days out pretty quick in 30 minutes because I'm pretty quick at some of these. And then my yoga and then my hit video or I, I know are at a 30 minute. But if I have to, I can always go into my 5.30 slot because my kids usually don't wake up until six around thereabouts. And so I am going to set my Moxie Life aside. And I'm going to bring over my Hobonichi. And then I'm going to check my scheduling that I have in my Hobonichi for the month of December as well, or excuse me, January as well. So I am working on the week of the 25th here. So it looks like Moxie Life is having a live on 7 p.m. on Tuesday. So I'm going to outline that. Because I do not like missing those. And they usually run about an hour. And so I'm just going to use the pen tip on the passion planner instead of the highlighter tip.
Okay, so this is the basic layout of the hourly version of how I'm going to do things throughout the week. So I will definitely go back in here and adjust things as needed. I usually leave my weekends pretty wide open and I don't schedule anything on my weekends because that's usually the time for family or walks or bike rides and stuff like that. And then I also break up all of my chores that I have to do. And I do that all throughout the week. I used to be able to get everything done on a Sunday, but I have two kids now. So I just kind of have to break everything up to have 30 minutes to an hour or so throughout the day. A lot of times I'll do a lot of the cleaning during these school times. And so I don't schedule any cleaning time outside of these times. And so that's why you don't see a time block for my cleaning and stuff like that. I did schedule out the time for the pantry, which is the bowl full of lemons challenge that I've got going on here. My pantry is really small and it will not take me very long. And I kind of read through all of this and it says to do your floors and I don't have a walk-in pantry. And so my pantry is very small. It is in like a built-in in my kitchen. So I know that it won't take long. So I really can only dedicate one day to that. And I don't think that it would take any more than an hour. And so that's why you don't see any more of that on here either. So I hope that this was helpful in explaining why I have two planners, how I'm using both of these planners. I really do want the Moxie Life to turn into a home-based system for me. I did also order the Moxie Life companion notebooks that should be here before my next plan with me. So I'm going to be changing a little bit of stuff then as well. And so I'll make sure to update you next week with my next plan with me as well. So make sure you're following along. I'll also link down my Instagram below and I'll make sure to post pictures of all of this stuff on my Instagram as well. If you have any questions about my routines or how I do things, feel free to leave a comment and let me know or find me on Instagram and direct message me over there also. Again, I hope that this was helpful and I hope that it kind of explains how I focus on my goals throughout the day as well because I really do want to start being more intentional with all of my time. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification so you'll get a little notification every time I post a video. Thank you and have a great day.